I'm, <coughs> excuse me. I'm Chad Wynn. I'm Commissioner at Juab County. And I'm not going to go back over all that's been said because we've heard basically the same story from each county. Uh, but I would like to address one thing that was brought up earlier, and that's the equal access to justice rule. And that gives the environmental groups a right, if they can get a judgment on any part of the lawsuit, then the federal government pays for the lawsuit. And this is uh, what's driving all these lawsuits and shutting down so much of what goes on, if it's, whether it's mining, petroleum, uh, water, uh, animal rights, whatever it is, they'll bring a lawsuit because that's how they make their money. And, as, and I don't know what influence you people have with our federal legislators, but they're the ones that need to change that rule. And, and then things wouldn't be shut down every time. The, the miners can plan on a, a lawsuit on every file almost. The animal rights people come in on every animal project. So uh, I would like to to have you think about the equal access to justice rule. Uh, just briefly on the wild horse issue, the wild that horse is the only animal that we don't have a humane way to euthanize legally. Uh, we, we, we know we have to do it with our cats and our dogs and, and we harvest our wild animals and yet we've come in with, with the wild horse and no way to euthanize them. And it can be done humanely and it, it's going to have to be eventually. The, the same things happened with the domestic horse. The, the animal rights people came in and got Congress to pass a law to, to defund the inspectors of, of the slaughter plants for domestic horses and shut them down. A year or so ago, they finally got inspectors approved again. Two plants were almost ready to open and some activist judge shut them down. So we're dealing not only with an end wild horses but domestic horses and now if you have a horse that's that has to be euthanized uh, sometimes it'll be a five hundred to a thousand dollars in some locations so this equal access to justice rule is really devastating uh, and as mentioned there's too many in the country who don't understand the issues of the west so education is a big, a big thing, and we need to educate people who don't understand what it's like to be out here. And I, you know, I'm all in favor of transferring uh, control of the, the public land to the states, but I see a long, hard journey because I see all these tremendously powerful bureaus in Washington who have so many people and, and the numbers of people in those bureaus have increased with the uh, Obama administration and they all want to keep their jobs. And I see even if, if Congress passed something that gave control of the states, I see lawsuits by these people to, to keep their jobs because it would be a, certainly a big, big change. Well. I'm reminded of the two ladies sitting in church and the sermon went on and on and on and finally one said to the other, I've sat here so long that my rear end's gone to sleep. And the other says, yeah, I know, I heard it snoring. <laughs>